We got a good show coming today. Um, I got with me Midnight Robin. How's it going, man? Yo, what's up? What's up, Geo, man? Um, glad to be here. It's been a while. Glad mm-hmm. to finally be on your show. You're doing good things. Yeah, where you been? What you been doing? Man, Midnight's been out. Midnight's been MIA. Um, it's been a while since I've been on the mic. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? But um, I'm looking forward to talking about it because obviously the last few months has been a lot going on in the gymnastics mm-hmm. community um, with the Olympics, Olympic trials, yeah. you know, coming back. It was just a lot of things going on in the men's gymnastics, women's gymnastics, mm-hmm. all type of gymnastics, trampoline, tumbling, all that stuff. So it's crazy, man. Glad, mm-hmm. for, glad to be on the show. What, what do you want to talk about today, man? This is your show. Um, I'm on your show, <laughs> Geo. You got me to come out from yeah. the MIA. We're going to talk some gym talk right <laughs> got now. I'm out here. Yeah, for sure. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot I want to talk to you about, definitely, because you're the one that's, you know, that I first reached out to to get into this, you know, to really start interviewing. So there's a lot that I need to learn from you. And that's, you know, something that can help me, you know, be better at this and really start, you know, going on my own track and doing what my own thing. Um, so it's definitely going to be a lot to talk about for sure. Um, just, uh, yeah, just go over these past few months. Why has it been so hectic? What you've been doing? Um, I know you got your Yule shirt on, you've been, you know, doing all that. So that's definitely one of the, one of the many things you've been doing. So, um, how's that been going? What you've been doing with that? Yo, man, it was great, man. The last few months, like I said, it's been award win. You're right. I am wearing the, the YM shirt right here. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a uh, that's your Modowers logo. Mm-hmm. The signature line came out with GK. So anybody that wants to kind of get some your Modower gear, mm-hmm. definitely check out GK Elite. Um, but really, you know, Geo, this last year really has been crazy uh, in life. You know, to be mm-hmm. honest with you, especially with this pandemic. Um, but over the last few weeks, you know, Jim Crew Talent Management company that I co-founded. Mm-hmm. We were representing national team members that were in the mix this mm-hmm. year uh, for the Olympic team, you know, and it was a crazy year because we had, you know, quite a few athletes that we represent, you know, re- retired in the heat of this Olympic um, process. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Marvin Kimball, who we represent, he mm-hmm. retired. Um, Kanji Oyama retired. Sean mm-hmm. Melton retired. So we, so we had that going on. And then, mm-hmm. um, you know, Con Van Wicklin and Ewell Moldauer were mm-hmm. set to compete in Olympic trials. So, you know, we were down there at U.S. Championships, Olympic trials, really supporting those guys, cheering them on. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then in Olympic trials, Colin, Colin Van Wicklin gets hurt in warmups, doesn't compete. That was devastating for him. You mm-hmm. know, we just wish him all the best and hopefully he has a speedy recovery. You know what I'm saying? He's still, he's still training. He's back mm-hmm. in the gym. Yeah, so it's, it's just great that You know, he's still in the sport and who knows what he can do in the sport. Mm -hmm. He's such a hell of a talent, you know. Um, And then Yul Maldauer, you know, made the Olympics and -hmm. competed well, Team USA. Mm -hmm. And that was my first time being, you know, I've always watched the Olympics, been inspired by the Olympics. But it was the first time being so so close on a a management level, an athlete, his first one. Um, Mm -hmm. It was just a crazy experience and probably the most nervous, nerve wracking Olympic games ever from yeah. trying to stay awake to watch it live. Cause you know, yes. social media era, if I wait for the prime time yeah. at night, you everyone's going to tell me what yeah. happens. So I might as well watch it live. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And then I still got to get up and work in the morning. So mm-hmm. man, it was the most stressful, exciting Olympics ever. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, so it's over now, man. But, um, I don't know, man. Like, what were your thoughts on this whole Olympics, all that? I definitely felt that more, I was a lot more connected to this Olympics for sure. Just because, you know, people that I grew up with, people that my teammates were going to the Olympics. So this was something that I was like, I was always, you know, always wanted to watch the Olympics for sure. But this one was just like, I have to watch it. And I want to watch it live. Like you said, like, um, I, 
uh, yeah, we interviewed Uche Eke. He was the first Nigerian Olympic gymnast. He was my teammate growing up. And then Yul Moldar, he's, you know, I, I practiced with him at OU. Um, and just seeing all these guys, like, it was awesome to see, you know, these guys that I've known and grew up with on the big screen is something that was so incredible and so cool to see. So, um, yeah, it was definitely hectic and wild trying to stay up. It's, you know, yeah. the first day um, Uche competed um, subdivision two. So that was 1.30 a.m. And then trying to stay up for the USA guys at 6 a.m. was just <laughs> insane. It was ridiculous. I couldn't do it. I, I actually fell asleep. I knocked out midway through. I stayed up till 6 a.m. Was there, was up until like seven, eight o'clock and I could not, I could not finish the first day, but um, yeah, I got to see them and it was, it was super cool. And I, you know, I was definitely more attached to this Olympics than ever. And it was, it was, it was a cool feeling to have for sure. Yeah, man. And one thing I did, um, it happens every four years, but mm -hmm. it was nice to have gymnastics on the forefront of the world. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. it was a week span where I, I feel like it was all about gymnastics, you know, everything that was going on with the men, obviously Simone Biles and mm -hmm. you know that mental health, all that. So mm -hmm. gymnastics was like the prime time sport for a week. Yeah, everything sure. someone did, it, it was out, you know. So mm -hmm. that that was great. That was great to see, yeah. but man, I don't, like I said, I, so many thoughts about the Olympics and yeah. now we got world championships coming up. First mm -hmm. time, can I remember, it's probably the first time ever that the Olympics and world championships are on the same year. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these guys can't really take a break. Right. Still. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Still world, training. Worlds is in the, all, right? Man. Yeah, mm -hmm. Worlds is in October. It's like, mm -hmm. dang, the Olympics just happened. Right. I don't know how much these guys can really enjoy it because they have to now move on mm -hmm. to World Championships. This is like a team. That's crazy. That's pretty wild. And, you know, it's, it's all because of the crazy past year, Olympics being delayed and all that. Um, it's crazy how they still, you know, they still got it done too. It's kudos to them being able to do that, um, being able to make it work. Um, I know there was a lot of backlash too. There was a lot of controversy within Tokyo too of like, um, should this, should the Olympics even happen? And um, it happened and it worked out. So that was good. Um, yeah. So I kind of wanted to get into the management part of it. Cause I, I've been getting a lot of questions, honestly, of like, Oh, what, what have they been doing? What, what, uh, what are they um, what is your role within the management aspect of, um, you know, managing these Olympic talents like Yule and Colin and all these guys? Well, that's a good question, Gio. Mm -hmm. Now, my, my philosophy on just management mm -hmm. of this sport really is, you know, changing what's been happening a positive change was to happen within the sport over the last 20, 30, 40 years, however you want to say it. Um, I look at the evolution of gymnastics, and this is where the management came in, is that we have a sport, gymnastics, that plateaued from an aspect of what is out there mm -hmm. for the athletes after high school, after mm -hmm. college. Mm -hmm. What is really there for them from a competitive standpoint. I think gymnastics does a phenomenal job um, building the grassroots, making sure kids are involved with it. Um, but when you just look at it, you know, listen, I'm a pro sports fan. You're a pro sports fan. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to know that the sports you love are passionate about doesn't mm -hmm. have something on the pro side for these athletes yeah. once they're in their peak, like they're, mm -hmm. they're peaking right now. Yeah. And most gymnasts retire in their prime. Right. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, sometimes they retire before they get to their prime. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They retire early because there's what's next. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, it's the Olympics or bust. Mm -hmm. In exactly. our sport, let's just be mm -hmm. real. 
that's what it is. You make the Olympics, mm-hmm. you get to that. Okay, then what's next? Okay, like, hey, USA basketball, they just had the Olympics. Oh, snap, mm-hmm. what's next? Oh, the NBA. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. You know, someone's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm not even doing the Olympics. I'm going to stay here, Steph Curry. I'm going to stay here. I'm mm-hmm. going to focus on preparing for the NBA season. Mm-hmm. So where is that for the women and the men of gymnastics? Non-existent. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and honestly, okay, let's say you have Simone Biles. She's done phenomenally marketing mm-hmm. herself, her team, all that. She has crazy amount of endorsements. But what percentage of pro gymnasts really get to that level mm-hmm. of financial security off of endorsements? Mm-hmm. And Gary, granted, she is, she won plenty of gold medals. And like I said, she's out there. I get it. Mm-hmm. But there's, there's just, there's no pro angle of the sport. It, it mm-hmm. hasn't been developed. And that's what Jones mm-hmm. was about. It's about mm-hmm. developing that, trying to find ways to keep these guys in the sport, trying to find ways to get these guys paid. Because if they mm-hmm. don't get paid, they're going to go tire early right. before their prime mm-hmm. and go off and get, you know, another way of, you know, creating yeah. and providing for yeah. their families. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's really what Jim Crew's about. It's Mm -hmm. about that. It's about what's next for you or a club coach, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're training. I say, I say little Johnny all the time. That's my expression. Like, yo, you're you're training little Johnny. Mm -hmm. Little Johnny's going to be 18. He's a ridiculous phenom gymnastics. Mm -hmm. You know, he has more to give, but then little Johnny stops because it's like, all right, well, I'm an adult now. Once these guys Mm -hmm. reach 18, you're an adult. You got to provide for yourself, Mm -hmm. but there's, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing set up. Yeah. There's no point. There's There's no point, no point to stay in it. Mm -hmm. So that's what really what Jim is about. It's about keeping the narrative going of, Hey, let's not forget about the pro side of the sport. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody makes money in this sport. Everybody Mm -hmm. does, right? Gym owners make money. The meat directors make money. The college coaches make money. Mm-hmm. They make pretty good money. Mm-hmm. How about these top level gymnasts? What do they do? What do they get? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's all. Mm-hmm. That's that's what Jim Crew's about. So mm-hmm. our mission, our culture that we're trying to create here is like, don't forget about these guys. Let's not exploit them. Well, you can exploit them from an aspect of like giving them uh, a way for them to shine, mm-hmm. providing events where they can go get paid mm-hmm. perform um just like any other pro athlete mm-hmm. yeah that's yeah that's something that i've definitely like thought about a lot is it's so difficult to make money in this sport it's you know there's only you know there's only a couple ways you can you either very very good get those endorsements or you can coach and do that and try and make it, you know, that way. Um, so doing that is just it's very, it's so hard and so frustrating to see that because there is a, there is a viewing for it. And you see that every four years. And it sucks that it only happens every four years because everybody wants to watch it. And there, and there is always a, a base for that sport. Um, So, um, yeah, I, it's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, ways to, I don't know. There's a lot of things that can go from that. I don't know. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You know, know, like I said, that's a, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a interesting, like I said, that's, that's a great question, Joe, because Mm -hmm. I think, and when it comes down to all business, you're always redefining, um, what you're doing on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Um, Always trying to redefine, always trying to keep pushing, always trying to get better. Always trying to find find new ways of, um, you know, taking it to the next level. And that's what Mm -hmm. Jim Crew is about. You know, that's what Jim Crew Tom Man is about. Taking it to the next level on all aspects of the sport, you Mm -hmm. know? Um, And we've done some great things in the past and we're gonna continue to do it. We're gonna continue Mm -hmm. to work with, with athletes um, to help them, you know, grow their brand, grow mm-hmm. their image, you know, making sure that they're okay on the day to day. And, you know, I look at Jim Crutown management this is a big family in, in that resorts. Mm-hmm. It's about 
building a brand, brand awareness, you know, from there, opportunities come to the table. That's mm-hmm. what I would say. You know, um, we help build brands. Mm-hmm. Nice. Good. Yeah. And that's something, you know, the Yule um, thing, the GK Elite, it's really cool. Um, that's something awesome to see. Um, I love to see that, you know, uh, brand on Yule's uh, uniform. It's really cool. Um, and I think that's something that we need more of really, um, being able to let gymnasts express themselves stylistically, um, you know, being able to do that is, I think is super important for our sport because it is an individual sport. So, um, you know, being able to express yourself individual individually is something that's very important. I think, I think we kind of talked about that with Kanji a little bit of how, you know, he used gymnastics to express himself and being able to do that and and he you know you were talking about how hard it is really to do that um when you only have so when you have so little opportunity to show that you know um and that's that's super difficult and something that we got to try and um you know try and change for sure um so what are things that you think can help change that I think there needs to be more events, more opportunities for Mm -hmm. these guys. You know, Mm -hmm. Um, there's a German league that a lot of the top guys Mm -hmm. in the world go to every year. Mm -hmm. Um, There needs to be more of those, those type of, Mm -hmm. of leagues. Yeah. And we need to have one here. Definitely. In America, in the States. Mm -hmm. Um, it can be more that. than one league. It can be, it can be two that. leagues. It can be three <laughs> leagues. You know, that's really yeah, it just that's just amazing. what it is. You yeah. know, um, I'm heavily in, in, invested in um, quarter midget racing. I got family, little ones that are that are involved in in, in that sport, mm-hmm. and you have these these phenoms in um, quarter midget racing. You know, USAC that are. I don't know, 12, 13, 14, you Mm -hmm. know, competing, racing against adults and they're making money. Like they're, they're winning, you know, there's (laughs) prize money. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, and there's, there's a bunch of that. So just Mm -hmm. think about it. Think about it that way. Um, Mm -hmm. that there needs to be more prize events where top Mm -hmm. gymnasts are are getting paid to do what they do. Um, Mm -hmm. I think that's where the focus needs to be. I think college gymnastics is great. Mm-hmm. It's awesome, but it's not the end all. Right. Okay. And I know we're trying to save the sport. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know we're trying to save the sport, but Hey, and if, yeah. if, if, if it, if we have more pro events, you may right. run into a situation mm-hmm. like the N- NBA where, um, what's mm-hmm. his name? Not Lonzo ball, the youngest ball brother. Yo, he high school yeah. straight to the pros. He's like, right. yo, I'm out. Yeah. I'm getting paid. Yeah. It's True. okay for people to not to True. choose a college if they're gonna get paid to do yeah. something that they're good at. Yeah, you no know, college okay. shouldn't be the only the only route for yeah. top amateur for athletes. Sure. Like, no, I'm mm-hmm. gonna go in this league and I'm gonna get paid and I can go to mm-hmm. college on the side if I want to. Yeah. You know, um, I think the mindset needs to change. That oh, like we don't want you know these men gymnasts not to turn pro and go to college. Nah, nah. Mm-hmm. NCAA, or we're losing programs. Yeah, we just added one a few months ago, Definitely somewhere true. in Illinois, right? Mm-hmm. That's great. But still, at the end of the day, we're losing programs. Mm-hmm. So we still got to build for mm-hmm. what if college men's gymnastics dies? Mm-hmm. What are we going to do? Are we going to, is is the writing on the wall, so to speak? You know, mm-hmm. Gio, what do, what do you think? Is the writing on the wall? I mean, like, if if we plan properly, we hope men's gymnastics, college men's gymnastics stays mm-hmm. For good, right. but what's the backup plan if right. it fails? Exactly. Yeah. What I happens? You you bring up a really good point of like, um, yeah, NCAA NCAA gymnastics is good, but if we're relying on the NCAA to um produce all of our Olympic gymnasts, and we're relying on these the NCAA to back us up that's not a good plan to have because we've seen in the past where they cut programs like this, like easy and they have no remorse for it. There's nothing that we can really do about it. And it's just like, 
it's if we don't have that backup plan, um, then uh, we're gonna be screwed in the long run. So um, there's definitely um, I I'm super glad you brought up the pro league because <laughs> I um, I've been thinking about that a lot too. Actually, um, that's good. Just uh, yeah, I've done a lot of research on the German league that you talked about, and just you know talking to Colin about it because he did it for a year or two. Um, he he was saying how fun it was and how cool it was. Um, but looking into the rules, I I think it can be done better. Um, it's a little confusing with the points. It's like it's pretty crazy. And I think there are ways to do it a little bit better. Um, and I I I wanted to I didn't know if we could do this this show, but I guess we can do it now. Um, I had the idea of just 3v3 head to head um three gymnasts each team um three judges one for difficulty two for execution um head to head you know coaches choose lineup and you get one point you you know two gymnasts face off the winner of those uh the winner of that gets a point and there's three um you know three three people six events possible point possible is 18 points first to get to nine wins the game okay yeah sounds simple to me man like i said yeah i'm all innocent jail yeah. like you gotta understand <laughs> i'm all about simplicity right it's this this one is complicated <laughs> enough like I'm all mean... about simplicity don't get me <laughs> on a on a on a midnight rant about the lack of simplicity can't even yeah. say it right yeah right now Sl- mm-hmm. slimpicity <laughs> I messed it up because that's how it's not that for gymnastics. Yeah. It's not that. Yeah. Gymnastics yeah. is the most complicated sport mm-hmm. to, to figure out. Mm-hmm. I hate the open code. I can't say it enough. Right. Dumbest mm-hmm. idea ever. So confusing. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah. I digress. But listen, that is a good idea. It's simple. People mm-hmm. can follow it. Okay. He won that match. Point goes mm-hmm. to this team. You know, volleyball mm-hmm. is like that. Okay. Exactly. Whoever's serving, exactly. boom, easy. Right. They get the point. Right. Got it. Mm-hmm. Got it. The, the yep. ease, the more simple the rules, the better for mm-hmm. any um for any pro league for mm-hmm. gymnastics. So yes. I think the um there are a couple things I want to get into too with that is um just you know, there's two execution judges, right? Um, yeah. You don't, you average it out, but it's rounded down to the nearest 10th. So, you know, if it's nine, you know, nine, one, nine, oh, execution, it'll be nine, oh, five rounded down to nine, oh, makes sense. No, um, you're going to you're gonna have to say that again. So, um, so, you know, two execution judges, right? Okay. I got um, you. Um, and then one person, one judge does nine one, other judge does nine oh, right? Okay, yep. And then um you so the average out. of that is nine oh five, right? Yep, yep. So then it would be rounded down to just nine oh again because it's just rounded down to the nearest tenth. I hate the nine like point three three three, point oh five, that stuff. Like when you're if you're winning by point zero five. That is not a win. That is judge error. So you think it should just be whole points and whole tenths? Yes. Okay. And if there's a tie, it's a stick game between the two guys. Yeah, I'm all about the stick game too. Yes. Yes. I'm all about sticking. <laughs> that is one of the most exciting aspects of gymnastics. I definitely agree. I, dismounts. For me, for me, some of the most yeah. fun I've had is playing stick games just in practice. Yeah, like competitions are great, but stick games are some of the most intense like aspects of the sport, and I think that needs to be put into the light for sure. Um, so, and for me, it's kind of like a foul shot for basketball, or you know, like pay- penalty kick for soccer. Like if you, um, if it's that close, then it should be decided some way else, yeah, and that yeah. some way else is a stick game. Yeah, that's yeah. the hammer. That's yeah. the hammer. Yeah. That really is what defines, in my opinion. Like, yeah, okay, the tricks are cool. But, hey, listen, if mm-hmm. you can't land the tricks mm-hmm. perfectly, then, mm-hmm. yeah, you don't have that mastery over it. And yeah. That's all I'm Definitely. saying. You know, That's Definitely. the exclamation point. Sticking to yeah. Oh, yeah, you did triple double. Yeah, but you you 
faced it. You faced that triple right. double. I give you props for chucking it, but that's about it. Like, yo, right. I, I give you right. props. You can't land that triple mm-hmm. double perfectly. Like, that's boom, true. put your stamp on it. Put yeah. that on there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, um, that's that's something that I've been thinking about a lot. And I think that's something that um, I don't know how, you know, how that could come about. But if there were to be it's in the works. Like, yeah. Just, 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 just let me give you some insider information. Uh huh. OK, it's in the works. Hell yeah. <laughs> y'all stay tuned. It's, it's in the yeah. works. <laughs> Something's happening. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you all what now because I can't I can't. All I right. can't drop this on this show. You're going to have to get me on again. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it's, it's something's brewing oh, right we now. Definitely will. We, yeah, we you definitely know, we got will. the right ingredients. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got the right spices. We got the right mm-hmm. meat. We got the right sizzle. Mm-hmm. It's, it's happening. So just people just stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, right. Stay tuned. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's something that I've been thinking about. And if like, that's the way I would want to see the sport go. Um, and that's the way I want is I would want to see a competition because there's so many things wrong with even like the Olympic viewing of the sport is it's rough. Like for people that love the sport, it's it's hard to watch sometimes just because, you know, there's, you know, how many people went to the Olympics? There's like 60 guys. Yeah. The top top of the world, you know, top best gymnasts. And you only see what four three four five of them you know in a competition just because the coverage is focused on those top guys when there's so much more that you can appreciate and do so um that's something else that i felt in the olympics going back to (laughs) going back to that a little bit no i feel you and you just kind of got me some i do want to give um a shout out because you know Mm -hmm. i gotta i gotta give credit and credit due when there's certain things obviously sometimes i can be very critical of college men's gymnastics and their mm-hmm. rules, mm-hmm. Um, which, you know, a lot of the rules I just don't like. I told you, you yeah. know, well, I didn't tell you, but I mentioned before, uh-huh. I thought one of the, the death of college gymnastics was the open-ended score and she just kept it at 10. Mm-hmm. She, she should have just kept it there. You, yeah. you know, one of the beauty aspects about sport is the history and the stats. Mm-hmm. And yeah. by taking away the 10, you just kind of mm. took away some of the history of, of the past okay. greats in the sport by, mm. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like the tail's right. been around yeah. long, you know what I'm saying? So that was one yeah. aspect of it, of it. But so apparently I, I read in an article that the new rule for the men, at least when it comes to dual college meets, is that it's going to be more um, like international competitions where you have like the Olympics, like the Russia. And Team USA men were on the same mm-hmm. event. They went one after each other. That's what it's mm-hmm. going to be for dual meets and, 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 and college meets. That I thought was cool. That's a step up. Good Pretty job. Cool. Yeah. I'm proud of y'all for doing that. It was probably really hard for y'all, you mm-hmm. know, some, some yeah. of y'all. But, yo, it was great. Yeah. It's a good, good innovative rule. Because right. it will be a little easier to follow the sport. I mean, what, right. what do you think about that? Yeah, that's good. Um, I definitely did like that about um, the Olympics where they did, you know, alternating with the U S and Russia. But again, the only people we saw when, like when we're here is U S and Russia, like Japan and China got second and third place. Yeah. I didn't see any of their routines go live or anything like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's a little rough. I know that's super hard for coverage wise, but um, you know, I just think there's so much more that they could do, you know, instead of them showing, you know, two minutes of a close-up of somebody's face, they can be showing two, three routines in that moment. Yeah. And, you know, when they're warming up, you can show replays of the top, you know, top routines of the last rotation. You can do things where it's so much more efficient and so much better. Like we're watching, you know, we're watching the same commercial over and over and over again, the same two or three commercials when, you know, they already showed that you can, you know, you don't have to show that every three minutes, you know? Yeah, like, I agree. So um, that's just something that always has irked me and just. Yeah, maybe, that maybe you know, going over what you just said, like maybe it's just, and this is probably never going to change, but it was just too many teams competing at one time. That's you true. Know, it should be more yeah. like tennis. 
like, yeah. okay. And, you know, it should almost be like a tournament system, the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have cool. a, you have a ranking just mm-hmm. like any other team sport, like basketball, you have a ranking going in mm-hmm. and you, pr- and you play just dual competitions. So now mm-hmm. when you're, when you're, when you're filming it and when you're live mm-hmm. streaming it or whatever, only those two teams are out there. So you're just showing those two mm-hmm. teams, mm-hmm. you know, and maybe it's like, okay, uh, you know, qualifying round, maybe they just do two events, mm-hmm. Lauren Pommel's, mm-hmm. you know, and if you don't win those events, then you're out of luck and you're out. And then the next two events is vault P bars or vault rings. Mm-hmm. I don't know something that you're right. I mean, cause I think that's the problem is that you only have, but so much time, to mm-hmm. show a competition. And if you have six, seven teams and they're all doing, you know, six events, yeah. you're always going to miss someone, you know, other yeah. sports is easier to follow. Tennis is two people out there. You can see yeah. them both basketball, mm-hmm. two teams, football, two teams, mm-hmm. soccer, two teams, all the main right. sports, but it's like gymnastics is like, well, boom. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know. Like I said, there's, yeah. there's a it's lot hard. of different ways it's you so can look hard. at it and think yeah. about it, but I don't know. Yeah. It's also hard doing that too. Like if, if we do that, then one team would be, you know, there for, or the first team to go up is waiting, you know, a week or two weeks to compete again. Um, which might not be that bad, but you know, it's, there's always a problem. There's what, do you, always what do you mean something. by that waiting? Why would they, why um, would they if be they're wait, you know, if they're, um, if they're, if we do it like separate days, then there's going to be more sessions. Then there's more waiting time between the days. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, competing a week from the last time you compete is probably a better system anyway. <laughs> yeah. But will it, will, would it really be a week though? If they're only doing like one or two events at a time, why wouldn't they compete like mm-hmm. two or three days later? That's true. Because remember the meets would be shorter if it's only mm-hmm. one event. Like how long mm-hmm. would you take one event? Four guys up, one event, not that thirty much. minutes. Not that, not be, much, so it'd be like small, yeah. like not tennis matches, time. sort of speak. Mm-hmm. If you're only doing one event, it wouldn't be as long. Yeah, so maybe they may have a, an off day and then compete the next event the next day. I don't know, mm-hmm. but it wouldn't be long. It wouldn't be long. The ma- I, I guess you would more call them matches. I guess at that right, point. right, yeah. And then it could be more like a round robin thing. Like yep. you, you lose one day, then you try and go back to the next event and then it's another match. Yeah. Then it's kind of, you know, more similar to, yeah, with like basketball or, you know, tennis, things like that, where you can, you know, you can lose one, uh, you can lose one event and then, you know, try and get the best of, you know, six or whatever. That'd be kind of cool too. If, yeah. Like if we do that head to head, then you just facing one opponent or one team and then whoever wins that, you know, best of six or whatever, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But that's also hard because we have an even amount of events. <laughs> so it's like if it's three, 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 then what do you do then? The stick game. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end, I'm dog. Like it. I said, that's it. Like if it's a tie, it's like, okay, yeah. overtime, yeah. state game, let's yeah, go. Put game, your money right. where your mouth is. Right. This yeah. is for everything, the bragging mm-hmm. rights. It all finishes yeah. state game, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. See, we got it. We just figured it out. Everybody, <laughs> yeah. remember we heard it first. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely that's definitely true. I, I am all for the state game to decide it all. I think that's that should be the end all be all, really. Um, that should be an implementation for sure for gymnastics. Um, yeah. yeah. That's a that's a wow factor too. Um, yes. So if we're getting into that though, then um, what are the rules to the stick game? You know, there's best of three. There's there's a bunch of things you can do with that. Um, yo, yo, people may have to stay tuned for that next that next <laughs> yeah. Yo, tune in. You know what I'm saying? Have, we can't yeah, we can't yeah. spill the beans and everything on the first <laughs> first first time. You know, midnight mm-hmm. on there. Yo, but I just yeah, want everyone like to to continue to to think, keep an open mind, keep mm-hmm. the creative juices flowing, reach out to Geo or Midnight, mm-hmm. any ideas you have, um, because that's what it's going to take. But mm-hmm. I, I'll definitely get into it more because, you know, Geo, obviously I've, I've thought about this extensively. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Plenty of brainstorming sessions with 
Oh, I um, great minds of the sport yeah. over the last 10 years. Mm-hmm. So, but nice. something's coming. I'm just letting you know something's nice. coming. Nice. I would, yeah, I can definitely send you more because I definitely have more thoughts on, you know, that the, my idea of head to head and all of that and how that would work. Um, definitely would love to talk more about that. That could be a show in itself for sure. Um, how that would work, what we would do with that and all the rules specifically. Um, so that's definitely more to come for sure. All right. And uh, yeah, Gio, I got to run. Thanks mm-hmm. for having me on. Oh, it was for great. Being on, man. This is great, yeah, man. We got to do it again sometime. Oh, midnight, midnight out. All right.